Welcome back. In today's episode, I am giving you my best tips on healthy eating and weight loss through the holidays. Um, This is something that I always would talk about with my clients. It's questions I get over and over and over. So if you are on trying to eat healthy, you're on some kind of meal plan, I am going to give you my best tips and tricks today. So if you didn't know, um, I have coached dozens of clients on weight loss and I'm writing a book. I'm writing a book with all of my tips and tricks, both the tactical, practical stuff, but also the deeper layers, the emotional stuff, the trauma, the things that hold us back, um, our mindset, subconscious beliefs, all of that. And you can find all that info in the show notes because I want to take you with me. Um, if you are someone who is struggling to lose weight, um, maybe you've lost weight before, but then you gained it all back, you're struggling to keep it off, or you're struggling to stay consistent, I want you in here with me. I am taking a small select group of people through the book before it releases. I'm going to be giving you coaching, and I want to put things in the book that you actually need. So if that speaks to you, you can find the info in the show notes. And um, I have decided for Black Friday, uh, this week only, I am taking, I'm going to be giving um, a select number of people free access. So all you have to do is on that page, closer to the bottom, you can actually fill out a survey telling me why, what your struggles are, and why you need this. And I will pick somebody to go through the program and work with me for free. So let's get into today's episode. You're listening to the Queen Rising Podcast with Misty Shaheen. I am a self-love and confidence coach helping women um, really heal their blockages around weight loss and emotional eating. So let's talk about healthy eating through the holidays. There's so much I could say about this topic. Um, So first thing I want you to think about is like, what is your intention for going to said party? Like if you're going to a party, you're going to Thanksgiving, I'm recording this right before Thanksgiving. So what is your intention for that? Are you going for the food? Just be honest. Are you going to see family or friends? Um, what is your intention to go? That's really important to understand. And if your intention is to be with your family and friends and relationships, why do we make such a big deal about the food? Another thing um, you can do is drink lots of water. So if you can drink water before your meal, throughout your meal, it's going to help you feel full and you're going to eat less. Another thing I like to do is I'll have something healthy like a small salad or protein snack before I actually go to the party. So then when I get to the party, I'm not like, starving and just looking to eat whatever I can get my hands on. So I've already given myself that little buffer. I've gotten my healthy greens in or whatever I choose to eat. And then if I go to the party, sometimes I'll eat. Sometimes I might not eat as much as if I didn't have that snack beforehand. Another thing I like to do, so I don't know if you can relate, But when I go to my family's stuff, like there's not a green vegetable in sight. And if there is a green vegetable, it's like green bean casserole, which I never liked green bean casserole ever, but it's like, it's not the healthiest. It's got, you know, cream and mushroom soup and all the extra, like whether it's, you know, the onion strips or crackers or whatever your family recipe calls for but it's not the healthiest. 
So what I like to do is I like to take my own healthy side dish. Like if you're going to a party where you're expected to bring something, take something healthy because one, you will know you have something to eat while you're there, something healthy. And two, I'm sure there's other people that might appreciate also there being something healthy there as well. Also, something else you can do before the party is get in your workout or go for a walk before you go to the party. So you've already like burned off some calories. But overall, I want you to not stress about this because, okay, so I'm recording this right before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is one day. One day is not going to completely derail you. If you decide to indulge in the things that you want to eat, like eat it, have fun. It's one day. And if you've been consistent on your, your goals for the past couple of months, you deserve it anyway. I always say eating one cookie is not going to make you unhealthy. Just like eating one salad does not automatically make you healthy. Does that make sense? Like it's one day or one meal. However, I understand the holidays is more than one day. And so you have to be mindful of it. Is this one day or is this going to carry me through the next six weeks? So how can you make those good decisions the whole rest of your week? So that when you go to Thanksgiving dinner or when you go to your family Christmas party or whatever it is, like you're not feeling guilty about it. Another thing I like to say is like back to our intention of like what is your intention between when you're actually eating the food, when you're putting something on your plate, you're grabbing that special dessert. Like what is the intention behind that? If that is like your grandma's apple pie that she only makes one time a year, like have it. Like that's a special thing. Um, but I would say like a chocolate chip cookie. I mean, you could have a chocolate chip cookie any day of the year. You could make your own chocolate chip cookies. Um, so I don't like to go through the holidays just eating whatever. If it's something that I could get all year long, but I will make special exceptions for those things that, you know, you only get, it only comes around once a year and maybe it's a special dessert or a special recipe that your Aunt Mary, she only comes around for Thanksgiving and this is the only time you can have it, then have it and have it if you like it. And if you don't like it, then don't have it. But if you choose to have it, enjoy it. Don't guilt yourself and shame yourself through the whole process of every single bite and then days after as well um, because that you weren't really able to enjoy it. That was, doesn't count as you know a cheat meal or a tr special treat because you, it wasn't a treat. You guilted and shamed yourself through the whole process. So if you're going to have something, just have it and enjoy it. And then the next day or later on that evening, you're right back to your usual diet. The other thing I love to do is after a high carb meal, I like to do leg day. I like to do glute work. Um, whether it be that same day, like later on in the evening or the next day, um, that is a really great day to do leg day. Um, there's a couple reasons for this. First of all, your legs are the largest, one of the largest muscle groups in your body. So they burn the most calories. And another reason, um, muscles are they are a component of protein and carbs. And you actually can't build a lot of muscle without carbs. 
And so you see a lot of these people on like low carb diets, the keto diet. I'm not going to talk about that today, but the thing is, if you're trying to build muscle, you do need carbs um, in some form and in some amounts. So use it to your advantage. Um, work in a leg day, a glute day, you know, some kind of high interval training where you, the carbs actually give you energy. So use it to your advantage and let it fuel your next workout. So as you can see, um, eating through the holidays, it does take some a little bit of planning ahead, but you can actually get through it and it doesn't have to be as horrible as what you make it, you know, what people make it sound like. Um, so drink your water, um, stay consistent on your meal plan or eating plan the rest of the week, the rest of the day, and Squeeze in an extra workout either before the meal or after the meal and you'll be fine. Um, and recognize that Thanksgiving is one day out of the whole year. And one day the whole year is not going to wreck you. I also don't want you to use that as an excuse to like overindulge or binge eat. Just have simple portions, moderate portions, making sure that you have you're getting the, those flavors and you're, you're not depriving yourself. But I also don't want it to take you away from the goals that you've set for yourself either. So if you want to join us in writing my book, I would love to have you join me. If you love these tips and you want more of this, um, we will be talking about all the things, food, body image, and weight loss. And I would love to have you join me. So you can check out all the details on um, in the link in the show notes. We're going to go three weeks in December and then three weeks in January and really set you up for the new year. I don't believe you need the new year to start a new diet. I believe you get to change when you decide that you want a change. And so if you've decided that you want something different, you're tired of um, binge eating, hiding the leftover cookie wrappers, you're tired of eating in the closet so uh, after no one can see what you're eating, then this is right for you and I want to help you. Today's podcast is sponsored by Hue and Grace, the first ever hormone save skincare. If you've been looking for an all-natural, non-toxic, and hormone-safe skincare brand, then Hue and Grace is where it's at. I've been using this skincare for the past three months, and my skin has never felt better. Um, it's completely hormone-safe. The ingredients are so high quality, and I am so excited to be partnering with them. Um, they do have some Black Friday specials going on. So I will leave the link in the show notes for you. If you want to check them out, if you want to know more about what is Hue and Grace and how you can get involved, it is time sensitive because Black Friday is coming up. And so make sure you click the link um, as soon as you listen to this so that you don't miss out.